Hello and welcome to JS Funk. Uh, I know it's been too long, uh, but I was quite busy with my GoLang 2D game development. You can check that video in the description. Uh, but in today's video, we are going to work on the updating of this units. So if I click on this plus icon, the units count should increase. And if I click on the minus, uh, it should reduce. So let's get started. Uh, I'm just going to go open the uh, code from the last video, that is uh, seven and quickly going to fork this into a new project and just rename this to shopping cart and just going to make this eight all right and just going to open this into a new window so this is same code uh, from the uh, last video uh, but what we are going to do is we are going to update this part uh, so basically uh, if you open the components inside cart, you will see there is cart list. Uh, first of all, we are going to extract this into its own file that is cart item. All right. And from here, of course, we have to uh, export default cart item. All right. And also don't forget to import this cart item into uh, cart list over here. So I'm just quickly going to say import and we are just going to call the cart item from since this is in the same folder. All right. So let's save this and check everything is working fine. Okay. React is not defined. Yes, of course. So we forgot to copy this. <laughs> all right so it's same code from the previous section okay the only difference is we have a new file called cart item so what i'm going to do is uh, if you look at the container which is app.container uh, this is really simple so add to cart action is being triggered inside product right now we have to add another action which will get triggered inside cart item so basically we have to pass a function from props to the cart list this time. Instead of products, we are going to pass an action to cart list. <coughs> so let's just first of all create the action. So I'm going to go to Redux, actions, cart actions, and I'm going to copy this. So we need just, uh, we also need a type. So what I'm going to say is uh, update cart Unix. Okay. All right, and I'm just quickly going to copy this and paste this into a new function, update, update cart units, all right? And the only thing which we need over here is the ID and the units, how many units that you want to um, add to the cart or update to the cart. And of course, uh, change this type, okay. So far, this is uh, all we have to add it to the cart action. Once you have an action ready, we have to go to the reducer. So in our case, we have just only one reducer that is cart reducer. Let's just import that over here. First of all, update cart units. So this is the constant, this is a string <coughs> and we are going to match that string into our switch case, which is a reducer cart reducer. All right, so quickly going to add a case over here, case. And of course, always remember whenever uh, you're matching a case, you have to always turn up a new updated state. Okay, it, it has to be cloned state. You cannot just update an existing state. Okay, so we are going to return a new instance of the state. Okay, but how do we do that? So what we know is, um, we are going to receive a payload. We are going to receive a state, but this is not going to be a product, but this is just going to be a payload. All right. And of course we need to find the product if it already exists or not. Okay. The product has to be an existing product. Then only we are going to update its units. All right. So payload dot ready. If, so if the product exists, okay. And so this is the thumb rule of, uh, find a uh, item by index so this find index method will always return you 
a positive number if it is found all right and if it is not found then it will return you a negative number so it has to be greater than equals to zero that means it is found so if it is found then we will extract the product uh, we'll just say let product is equal to so it is there in our cart with this product index so we found the product now let's just update the product units okay so the units are going to be payload dot units all right so we are created we have created a new object over here called product but which is from an existing cart product right so we have a new product which is copied from the cart now we need to put that updated product into the cart at the same index again okay so we are doing a mutation over here so at this specific index we have to put the updated product over here okay and that's it so we are just going to return a new cart that's it so now we just have to return this so this will return a new clone of the current state all right so even if this doesn't work so let's say if even if we do, don't find a uh, product we will just update the cart with the whatever cart it is currently there will be no error okay and if we find it we'll copy a new product and add it to the same exact index in the into the cart with the updated units okay that's it from the reducer side so we have an action we have a reducer updated <clears throat> okay which is kind of similar to this add to cart but in our case we are just doing this thing all right so once we have this ready okay let's go back to the app container okay over here we need to import the cart action which we just created all right so just going to import it over here and we have to also map it to the map action to props now it is available to us inside the props inside the container and we're just simply going to pass this to the cart list okay if this was typescript you had to create uh, a type with the specific props okay since this is just javascript you can just pass it like this over here and inside the cart list of course we are passing it right so we have to also receive it over here and we receive it okay so uh, from the app container we pass it to the cart list with the update cart unit as a property name and the function name is the same and we receive it inside cart list okay and from here since we are mapping each cart item we are just simply going to pass it over here is equal to this guy but we have to of course make sure you are adding it to the props okay now once we receive this pass it to the cart item go to the cart item which is the new file which we created over here and again receive it over here into the props and over here on click we are going to pass an anonymous function over here and pass the things what we need so we need an id and we need units right so units is the key which is required by our action over here units so this is the key which we are passing but how much units we need since we are clicking on a plus button so whatever units we have plus one and in the case of minus it is simple we just copy paste this same code over here and we may say units minus one that's it and now if you look at the card reducer payload dot units so this is the same thing which you are passing it over here let's save this and see it in action all right i'm just going to add a cat increase the amount of cats we have yes it works okay and now it's going into minus uh, of course you can handle this on your own as an additional assignment to yourself but uh, if i increase this it works if i reduce this it works all right so that's it from this video
uh, in the next video we'll deal with the uh, total uh, amount of the uh, the calculation of the total amounts and as well uh, after that we'll also discuss about the new uh, react context which is in very easier way of passing this kind of function so to receive this function we have to pass it from all the way from parent instead we can just do it over here itself we'll see that in future videos so thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel that will really motivate me to add keep on adding more videos for you thank you bye bye